Horses are coming onto the track at DuCoin for the fourth of our 13 races. Win, play, show, and exact a wagering on this elimination of the darn safe stakes for Illinois bred two-year-old trotting Colts and Geldings. Again, the top three finishers are guaranteed a spot in the $50,000 final on Saturday. Scratch the one Fox Valley Eden and scratch the six Speedy JJ. They are both sick. A reminder, Dave McGee drives the four Saluki charge card. By the way, folks, again, don't forget that the grandstand is free for harness racing throughout the week with the exception of Saturday's World Trotting Derby card. Reserve seating $10, general admission $5 for Saturday. The ticket office window is located behind the main grandstand. They do take MasterCard and Visa at the ticket window. Also, racing fans, don't forget the USAC Silver Crown Series is here this coming Sunday. Sunday and Monday, actually, the combination of the ARCA and the USAC Silver Crown Series. Two big days of auto racing coming up at the DeCoin State Fair. We'll give you more details on that later on. Let's meet the starters for the fourth race. Scratch the one, Fox Valley Eden is scratch. Two is Kennan's Max, owned by Ken Spurlock of Cedar Lake, Indiana, by Phil Wiley of Merrillville, Indiana. Joel Smith trains. Louisville, Kentucky's Jason Dillander makes his DeCoin State Fair debut here tonight. Number three, John R. Yankee is owned by Mike Titus of Charleston, trained by Dirk Simpson and Dirk Simpson is the driver. Number four is Saluki Charge Card, owned by Robert Silverberg of Farmington Hills, Michigan, and by Michigan native Jim Eaton, now of Crete, Illinois, trained by Jim Eaton. The driver is Dave McGee. Number five is Friendship Lane. Friendship Lane is owned by Homer Hochstetler of Crete, by Bruce and Dean Alexander of Westfield, Wisconsin, trained and driven by Homer Hochstetler, originally out of Bremen, Indiana. Number six, Speedy JJ is scratched. The seven is Grant's Charger, Grant's Charger is owned by Jack and Peggy Hood of Valparaiso, Indiana, Mystical Marker Farm of Chicago Heights of Dennis and Kevin Lacomey, and owned by Shirley Marks of Chicago, trained by Irvin Miller. Andy Miller is in the bike. And number eight, Sam and Jerry is owned by Sam and Ellen Lilly's Lilly Racing Stable of Downers Grove by Jerry Graham of Salem and his son, J.D. Graham of Fairview Heights, trained by Leon Smith. Fremont, Michigan's Michael Osting is the driver. They'll be at the post for tonight's fourth race in less than four minutes. Here they come. Saluki charge card off stride. The rest are off and trotting. Grant's charger grabs the racetrack and goes for the lead. John R. Yankee is there toward the inside, however, and John R. Yankee has a ground-saving trip into the first turn and has the lead by a length. Grant's charger goes second. Friendship Lane is third. Kennan's Max settles against the rail in fourth. Sam and Jerry is fifth, and a long way back to Saluki charge card, who is 25 lengths off the lead after breaking stride before the start. At the quarter-mile mark, it is John R. Yankee, who's on top by two lengths. Here comes Friendship Lane, moving up into second, around the outside of Grant's Charger. Opening quarter, 31 and 1. Friendship Lane is up to get the lead by a half length. John R. Yankee is in second position. Grant's Charger is third. Here comes Kennan's Max, the Illinois State Fair champion and fastest Illinois-bred two-year-old trotter of all time, and he's giving you an example of that incredible speed that he's got right now. There goes Kennan's Max from fourth to the lead in a sixteenth of a mile, and Kennan's Max at the half is on top now by one length. Friendship Lane is second, John R. Yankee third. They got the half in 101 and one fifth. At the entry to the far turn, Kennan's Max leading Friendship Lane by a length and a half, then John R. Yankee, and there goes Grant's Charger, moving up into third on the outside. He's three lengths off the lead. Sam and Jerry follows his cover a long way back to Saluki Charge Card and last, and Sam and Jerry just made a break midway on the far turn. Kennan's Max, the leader by a neck, but Grant's Charger is right alongside the leader, and Grant's Charger gets the lead a half length, now by three quarters of a length. Off three quarters and 131 and two, Grant's Charger leads it by almost a full length. Kennan's Max is second. They turn for home. A gap of five more lengths to Friendship Lane in third. And past the eighth pole, Grant's Charger sees Kennan's Max coming back one more time to his inside. Kennan's Max is resilient toward the rail to regain the lead. Grant's Charger is second. A gap of five to Friendship Lane than John R. Yankee. 
What a nice race for Kenan's Max. He was headed, he came back, and he won it. Kenan's Max by a length and a half. Grants Charger second. Friendship Lane was third. The time, two minutes flat. Folks, the official winner is moving into the winner's circle for the fourth race. First time this young man out of Louisville, Kentucky, has ever driven at the DeCoin State Fair. How about a hand for Mr. Jason Dillinder with number two, Kenan's Max. 2753, the official result. Two minutes flat the time. Another winner for Vaporize. Ken Spurlock and Phil Wiley of Indiana own this trotter. Cedar Lake and Merrillville, Indiana. Eric Bohm and Ken Spurlock are the co breeders. I, I, can, I can go with you. I'll go with you. Okay, driver, you need to get going, I understand, so we're going to walk with you. Jason Dillinder, first of all, first time you've ever been to DuCoin, and this colt looked like he was beat at the top of the stretch. How much did you have to ask from him turning for home? Uh, I asked him a little bit. He had a little trouble today running in a little bit. Um, but he had plenty of trot left. Plenty of trot. Jason, your impressions of your first visit ever to DuCoin? Very nice. Track's great. Track is great. Jason said it's very nice, folks. One more hand for our winning driver, Mr. Jason Dillinder.